started. What do you guys think about that? So I'm going to go over a few rules for the people that have never been here before. Can I see hands in the air for people that have never been to a burlesque show? <laughs> okay, there's, there's actually just a few of you. That's pretty awesome. So I'm trying something new this evening. What I'm trying is, you see chairs in the front. Something I didn't have before. I'd like to keep an aisle here during the burlesque performances. There's some girls that are going to be coming from the back, entering the stage through the crowd, and I want them to be able to get through without saying excuse me, because that sucks. Just saying. So we have a couple of out-of-town performers tonight, Eric being one of them from Cleveland. We have Cherie Blondell from Columbus. She looks like Marilyn Monroe, but better. Whatever he said. And then we also have Macabre Noir from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh legend. And we have Vivi Noir from New Jersey. I like saying just New Jersey, like whatever city she comes from doesn't matter. Because everybody hates New Jersey. But New Jersey is where she comes from. He might like New Jersey. So this, this is a handy dandy, really durable tip jar. How this works. My lovely kitten, Pookie Sue, with a beautiful white long hair, will be walking around with this in the air. And what that means is you throw your dollars in there. No change. We don't want Obama in this jar. We just want dollars. We'll take ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds, whatever you have. And what that does, it helps the performers that are traveling eat, get home, have a drink. Feel free to buy any of my performers a drink, including myself. I drink Fireball. I'll drink during my acts, during any time I'm on this stage, feel free to bring me a roofie-less fireball. No roofalin this evening, maybe next month. So when you see this tip jar coming around, what do you do? Put money in! And I know like a couple of you guys are gonna be like, yo, I already put money in that. It's cool, we get that, it's fine. You know, just don't say anything or continue to put your dollars in there. I make sure that everybody leaves here happy and I want them to be able to come back again. I don't want them saying, man, your crowd wouldn't let me through to get to the stage and didn't tip well. That's the worst. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming to Totally Heartless. This is the third year I've had Totally Heartless now at the Smiling Moose. And I'd like to bring up my first act of the evening. She hails from Pittsburgh. She's dangerously beautiful. There's something about this girl when I met her and I saw her on stage that you'll see here in a second that is extra special. She's very dark. So let's bring up